In the frame of the Triton project, we are involved in the design and implementation of a risk-based methodology for the analysis and management of coastal erosion processes in the coastal area of the Apulia region. Uh, in the frame of the presentation uh, held this morning during the Triton workshop, I presented the main terminologies uh, concerning risk assessment and I also presented the main methodologies to analyze climate-related impacts in coastal area. One of the most applied tools is the Coastal Vulnerability Index that has been already applied by the Euro Mediterranean Center for Climate Change at the national scale. From the resulting output that I showed this morning during the workshop, uh, we can recognize the Apulia region, the Apulian coastline, with the moderate and high vulnerability score that are mainly due to the high shoreline evolution, but also related to the uh, socioeconomic system, the socioeconomic pattern. In the frame of the project, we will advance this kind of methodology by implementing machine learning based methodologies, complex system methods, in order to provide to decision makers and stakeholders uh, effective and dynamic tools to analyze the shoreline evolution in the specific pilot case of the Ugento coastline. And uh, for sure, the involvement of stakeholders will be uh, the added value to tailor the methodology according to their perspective and their needs. In this, in this way, the tool, the resulting tool, will act as a decision support tool to drive the future decision and management of the Apulia region coastline. My core research interests concern the assessment of climate change impacts on coastal areas. This is not an easy task because coastal areas are subjected to a multiplicity of impacts related both to natural and anthropogenic drivers. And in order to assess the adverse consequences of such drivers on the vulnerable coastal systems, it's necessary to apply integrated approaches, such as risk assessment, that can be useful to deliver important information about the more vulnerable areas to the stakeholders and decision makers in order to start the development of adaptation strategies. There are different tools and methods that can be applied to assess coastal vulnerability to climate change. Some of them um, include composite indexes and indicators that are first screening assessment tools useful to uh, provide uh, indications about the more vulnerable areas to coastal inundation and erosions, for instance. The output of these tools can be useful for decision makers and stakeholders in order to understand the hotspot risk areas where more urgent adaptation actions would be required. In the hotspot areas, it can be necessary to apply more sophisticated methods for the assessment of uh, climate change impacts in coastal areas, uh, such as numerical models or uh, decision support systems. And uh, increasingly, um, risk assessment procedures implement complex systems analysis tools to uh, allow the integrated assessment of uh, big uh, data, heterogeneous data set concerning hazard exposure and vulnerability. All these methods should be interdisciplinary because uh, should be able to um, characterize the information related to coastal hazard and also to uh, the vulnerability of exposed systems. And it is also important to apply participatory processes with the stakeholders in order to understand what are also the uh, priorities for the management of the coastal areas and trying to uh, provide results that uh, would be uh, used in practice by the managers. Uh, erosion affects more than 70% of uh, the costs worldwide uh, and is caused by human activities and uh, natural environmental changes that uh, change the sediment dynamics balance and this leads to coastal retreat and uh, beach erosion. Uh, its impact is the squeeze of uh, human living space 
the destruction of the coastal biodiversity and it makes the natural environment also lose balance. This has direct or indirect effects uh, on the human life too and so it, it has to be taken into, uh, into consideration. Uh, the importance of uh, understanding the coastal processes, uh, both, the geologic, both the geological processes and the ocean dynamics, is uh, very important to design uh, suitable uh, coastal protection engineering and management works. Uh, practices in the future, like the building of uh, dams and the sand mining in the rivers or the beaches themselves, has led to the starving of the coastal sediment budget and this is a serious reason for the coastal erosion. So all future uh, engineering uh, practices for the uh, protection of the erosion from the beach, of the beaches uh, should be uh, dependent on uh, sustainable uh, acts that uh, would take into consideration uh, both uh, pro protecting the human activities, but most importantly, uh, the natural environment and the natural processes. Mediterranean Basin is a, a, a peculiar place in which we have a large amount of coastal environment. We have, for example, rocky and cliff coast, sandy beach, gravel and cobble beach, mixed sand and gravel beach. The behavior and the morphodynamic of this kind of beach change because change the sediment size grain. A morphodynamic of a beach depends on a large amount and variability uh, and on uh, forcing conditions. First of all, uh, one of the most important aspects uh, that influence uh, a morphodynamic of a beach is a wave propagated uh, from deep water to uh, the coast. When uh, a wave propagated over uh, complex inner cells such as uh, complex bathymetry or a canyon, a submarine canyon, waves uh, change and uh, experience uh, uh, refraction, diffraction, reflection and uh, uh, shoaling. Waves impinging the coast break and from break generate current, longshore current then, uh, uh, that transport the sediment along the coast. But uh, uh, we have not only uh, maritime uh, agents uh, in influencing the morphodynamic of the coast, we have also, uh, for example, uh, atmospheric uh, agents such as wind, uh, transporting sand from the dune, for example, or we have a pressure system with storm increasing the uh, seawater level, uh, or we have a, a tide uh, influencing uh, the uh, sediment transport, transport and we have also uh, the human impact on the coast. For example, here we are in Ugento, is a, a place full of uh, um, coastal structures uh, that uh, uh, allow uh, people to have uh, economic benefits uh, in, not only in this place but all, also in all uh, the uh, territory around here. Also we have to uh, consider the apport, uh, the amount of sediment coming from the, uh, from the river. Uh, here we have no uh, we have not so much uh, a river for example here in this uh, place we have uh channel that are uh, uh, generated by human uh, impact that no allow to the sediment to arrive to the coast but uh, in a Mediterranean basin uh, we have uh, um, around 160 river with uh, a small catchment area less than 200 kilometers square that uh, allowed the sediment to arrive to the uh, coast. Uh, position of the coastline or the equilibrium uh, uh, stage of the coastline with the coast that remain in equilibrium or retreat or advanced uh, depend on the uh, combination of this uh, forcing uh, uh, mechanism. In this period the uh, Mediterranean Basin experienced a large amount of erosion uh, depending on uh, seawater level uh, uh, variation and also by uh, this human impact with the growing of uh, a population uh, living in the uh, Mediterranean Basin uh, estimated uh, uh, in, to grow uh, to three quarters in 2025 respect to today.
in order to uh, quantify uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, amount of erosion that uh, interests in particular uh, a fragile system such as uh, beaches, uh, reef, uh, uh, dune, uh, swamps, uh, uh, estuaries and delta, uh, we have to uh, understand the physical processing uh, uh, involved uh, in uh, this uh, uh, coastal erosion. For example, uh, we have to um, uh, understand to study the shoreline position of the coast, the amount of sediment transport along, along the coast. We have to uh, study the morphodynamic of the coast by using high quality data high quality data of uh, waves, current, uh, tide, uh, water quality, salinity, turbidity and other uh, parameters that uh, uh, allow us to understand um, the behaviour of the uh, ecosystem and understand how, uh, uh, how mixed sand and gravel beach have a different behaviour in respect of uh, a pure uh, sandy beach. Estuaries are complex system that uh, approaching uh, equilibrium uh, stadium through the combination of forcing conditions that are waves, wind, uh, tide, uh, atmospheric um, with the wind and uh, uh, pressure uh, system and uh, uh, also uh, human impact with the exploitation of the, the estuary uh, for agriculture, aquaculture and tourism. Mm -hmm.